Yo, what's good, everybody? We're gonna be making a ambient jersey type beat, kind of like Sky Water, or I don't know how to pronounce bro's name, so if I get that name wrong, my fault. But jersey beats are so far to and like fun to make, honestly. So let's just get started. So with the first track, I'm just gonna play the melody real quick, and then I'll explain to you guys like what I did. So pretty much what I did, it was pretty simple, pretty easy. All I did was was just like add um, a seventh chord. I believe this is this is what uh, a seventh chord is. But basically, all I did was create this chord. You gotta make uh, you gotta do three semitones up and then four semitones up and then three semitones up. That makes sense. Semitones is just like going up a note. Going up a note is one semitone. Um, this is also an F sharp minor, by the way. So yeah. And if you guys don't know like music theory as much if you guys need help or just want to make music already and fast you just go to view go to scale highlighting and then you guys can click on whatever scale you guys want and then the root note of your guys is uh, melody or beat so yeah and this is pretty much just copied and paste copied and paste copied and paste copied and paste right here this spot right here is not like um, is part of the melody so as you can see up here, like I created a melody going like one up, I mean going up and down. I played this on my piano. I just like was messing around until I found like a sort of rhythm over here and then I build up after that. So if you guys have a piano or a MIDI, MIDI keyboard, just honestly mess around until like you get a rhythm, if that makes sense. That's how I usually make my melodies. Um, I draw them too and just like, put one note in and then the other note and if it doesn't sound good then I take the, the note away and then replace it with another one depending on length I just keep trying until you know it feels right if that makes sense but yeah for the mixing part an EQ just cutting the lows cutting the highs sometimes you gotta leave you still gotta you should leave some um, like a little bit of bass from like your instrument just so it won't feel like flat if that makes sense and after that I added some magic switch which is pretty much a chorus and then I got a vintage Valhalla verb on this. And then we added RC20 to this. Just a little bit of a tape, a little bit of wobble, and then some distortion. All right, for the second track, we have this pad texture thing I just add. So yeah, I'm just gonna show it to you guys real quick. And yeah, there's no like uh, reason why these notes are in that place. They're, I just, uh, like I said, I play melodies on my piano and I just find a rhythm. But um, there's nothing special about this one. All I did was just tuck a lot because in this pad texture, there was like a bunch of low frequency and high frequency. And I just wanted like that perfect little note that you hear. All right, for the next instrument, we have this right here. Pretty much it's just played from the chords but uh let me play it for you guys real quick yeah it's pretty simple all i did was just you know use the notes from the chord but i only used two notes i didn't do anything special uh i did however just like uh, moved it more like a strum type of type of feel instead of just having both of the notes play the exact same time i made it like strummy if that makes sense in the mixer i pretty much just tuck the lows tuck the highs kept the mid frequency I add magic dice which is from baby audio and magic dice and the magic switch they're all free so all right for the next track that we have it's the pretty much the main top melody Um, it's nothing crazy, but like I said, I just play stuff on my piano and just like find a rhythm and then I draw it in. This is simple. All I did was just, you know, a note every like bar, if that makes sense. Or every beat, not bar, beat. Um, but yeah. And it's just copied and paste, copied and paste, copied and paste. Then over here, I just pretty much just instead of going down, I just pretty much 
kept it on the same place and build it back down from there but still in the like same higher octave area if that makes sense or mixing wise all i did was magic dice a flanger from uh kilo hearts this is also free uh eq just to take out the lows take out the highs and yeah that's pretty much it all right i almost forgot the next track right here what we have right here is just pretty much the bass so let me play that real quick So pretty much what I did is just follow the kick notes when I show you guys the drums. It's just um, just every Jersey type beat um, pattern. Just one right here on the first bar, then the second bar right here. Uh, add a note right here, and then a note right here in the fourth bar. And then you pretty much just copied and paste right here. Everything is pretty much copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. But you know, you guys could add your own, you know, little flair to Okay, so now we're moving to the drums. So it's pretty easy what I did to the drums. For the kick, I just followed, like I said, I, I followed the bass. Um, I'll show you guys the quick. The, <laughs> I'll show you guys the kick real quick. All right, for the next thing, what we have is pretty much like a FX or like a like a little rhythm to for the drums and, and shit. I didn't want to use the go-to like, you know, Jersey, uh, FX, you know, I'd say like when uh when in, when it comes to like the Jersey effects, um, you know, just be creative because that's like the main thing that's gonna like hook someone is that like effects on top of the melody because the drums are very simple to like not fuck up if that makes sense. But yeah, um, I pretty much added like a a dog from like uh, a drum kit that I found in Reddit. And so yeah, let me show you guys. But yeah, it's pretty simple. It's like most of them are on the kick. Uh, actually, all of them are on the kick, but this is on the kick right here. This is on the kick right here. This is on the kick right here. And this is on the kick. You know, it adds a little bounce to it and like, you know, movement to your uh, beat. Moving on to the next thing, I added like a snapping thing, kind of like uh, the snaps for Uzi's um, song called I Just Wanna Rock. I, it's not the same snap, but it's similar. But yeah, usually these snaps are like at the end. But yeah, let me show you guys real quick. All right, and then we have another effects thing. Yeah, let me show you guys real quick. But yeah, it's just the pier bomb and that's it. All right, that's pretty much done uh, for the arrangement stuff. All I did was, you know, <clears throat> have the, the pad melody uh, chord uh, play out in the beginning with uh, the little textured pad accent. So this is uh, the intro right here. And then this is the hook right here, 12, 12 bars, I believe. Yeah, 12 bars. And then over here, it's 16 bars. I mean, oh, oh sorry. Over here, it's uh, only 12 bars as well. And then 12 bars right here and then eight bars for a verse again. So yeah, with these Jersey type of beats, uh, you know, Jersey beats, you just gotta keep them simple and you know, gotta keep them like uh, interested, you know what I mean? You know, you, you don't like let go of the kick as much. So yeah, I just felt like this beat needed like a short verse, go back to the hook and then, and then a short verse again and then the hook and then the outro and the bass with the kick it sounds a little distorted but that's that's the reason i like put it there if that makes sense like it, i i did it on purpose but yeah that's pretty much it i'm gonna play the beat right now but let me know what you guys want to see in this uh channel thank you for watching and like subscribe all that crap you know hopefully you guys have a good day and i'll catch you guys later peace